The attack on a synagogue will undoubtedly raise questions in many households. Kids seeing another mass shooting in the country. Our Sean Gallagher spoke with a local psychologist about how to have these conversations with your children. Kids questions usually come from a place of safety. They can be afraid something like this could happen to them. So while the opportunity is there to reassure they'll be OK, it's also a chance to educate them about what happened and why. It's a sight that's become all too familiar. First responders running into danger after a mass shooting, but questions from kids will never get easier to take. As a parent, you just you have to work really hard not to be overwhelmed. Dr. Munther Bearcat with Aurora Healthcare says honesty is the best policy when your kids have questions, even if you don't know the answer. If they're asking questions about why somebody would do something like that, it's okay to, to answer that you're, you're not quite sure, but a lot of times people are afraid of what they don't know. In situations like the Tree of Life shooting where anti-Semitic remarks were allegedly made, it brings about a larger conversation to have. How do you combat hate? Education. To, to counteract that misinformation that, that these uh, individuals might have. The more similarities we connect with with others, the more likelihood that um, th that fear will go down and uh, will educate them. He's only two right now, but I do feel like he's going to have questions. Colleen Kickbush's son is more concerned with pushes on a swing this beautiful fall morning, but she's not going to shy away from having tough conversations as he grows up. I teach my child that everybody is different and everyone is entitled to have their own opinions, but you never hurt somebody because they're different. Dr. Bearcat says if you see signs of hate in your child to address it, but not from a place of anger yourself, get information from your child on why they feel the way they do and counteract that with appropriate information. In the newsroom, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.